city update for you guys today. More like a new uh, city tour for the month of May. And uh, let's get into it. Okay, as always, we're going to start in this corner right here. And uh, just a heads up, there has been uh, lots of changes throughout the city. And one huge change, which you'll notice uh, right away, but uh, we've been working on various projects and finished some of them, some of them so uh, we decided to make a new tour. Okay, uh, this really is kind of its own mock. It's a power distributor or slash plant, and we don't have a specific name for it, but uh, we did want to create it for all the power lines that go through the city as you start to see them and we'll go through them and uh, we'll spot them out for you but uh, just taking a look at the details here we do have uh, these two uh, generators or just regular distributors whatever you want to see them as and uh, we just try to use some interesting pieces there and uh, we think we accomplished that and then right now we've got a guy working on that computer there that controls them and so he's working on that and that is his car and we'll show you how he got in but we've just got another worker over here working on the uh, one of these uh, distributors or uh, generators and uh, as you'll notice around the whole plant we do have these barricades just to keep um, non-employees non-workers out and coming in from the line Right here we have just a little uh, support piece that helps bring the line down into the plant and we have the same thing on the other side. Okay we're on the other side now and I uh, forgot to mention those things in the background there. Just some random uh, uh, tanks uh, full of water or uh, some sort of substance and so we just place them there for a little extra detail and then we've got another um, little generator right there looks like a guy's working on it okay you can also see this as kind of the main building but um, we do have just four uh, two on each side little uh, generators or plants um, and uh, they do have just various details on them looks like uh, welders working on one of them right there and uh, also on all corners we have these light fixtures just to give some light at uh, when it starts to get dark and uh, just right here we just have our loose barricades for construction work and uh, we just place them there quickly okay on uh, that side right there and on this side just kind of hard to see we do have some monitors that uh, computer slide or computers that kind of control those two and then these two so uh, an employee can type in uh, uh, options or uh, commands into those computers okay on the other side again uh, this is kind of the entrance right there we just got two uh, uh, kind of support pieces right here next to each other with uh, some chain just to represent that they're locked up and over there we do have a no entry sticker and a warning sticker right there. We also have a restricted area authorized minifigures only ID required and that is in one of the new superhero sets and we just got a couple of those sticker sheets and we thought it would look good uh, right there. Now focus, focusing strictly on the entrance we just got two barricades to keep the uh, entrance open and then uh, this chain does come off like so and uh, we did put a little lock on the other end just for show and you can place that aside and then these do open they're just on a stud right there that uh, just helps them hinge and they can uh, open up on both sides and that's how a truck like this can drive in and uh, do some maintenance work or uh, drop some workers off at the plant and uh, we do have four printed tiles right there uh, just two on each side uh, of caution strips and then just a two by two regular plate right there to help smooth it out just before we move on I did want to mention this parking lot right here 
just as kind of for the Quickie Mart and the Marina. And so uh, we just quickly set those up, uh, those uh, parking spots up right, uh, right there. And we do also have these barricades along the seawall, kind of. And uh, I think that was a better design than what we had there before. We also have uh, just three in total dumpsters behind the Quickie Mart right there for any trash disposal. Moving to the front of the Quickie Mart, um, we did move this around a little bit. Uh, we do have a porta potty back here and uh, a bus stop right in front of the Quickie Mart. We also have a parking sign right there to let uh, the guests know that they can park behind the Quickie Mart. And uh, just two bar barricades to uh, keep the entrance uh, at a minimum and where, where uh, the cars can actually drive. At the end here we do have the uh, flower cart poly bag right there in front of the detective office. And uh, we do have a electrician uh, who looks like is working on one of the lines. And uh, we do have a caution sticker right there to warn people about the electricity. And um, over in the corner there, we still have our road crew uh, fixing up the planter over there, the little garden. And uh, they're still there, and we do have a new sign for them so that the cars do know to turn left and uh, beware of the workers. Okay, moving on, um, you can just see the lines go over the uh, modulars right there and then all the way down, but I did want to just point out quickly um, all the other things in the city back there. We do have the Shell gas station still, and we have reviewed that and the bus station and then the line for the park which still does run on the batteries in that um, control room and we'll, we might be able to run that for you guys at the end of this video and it uh, looks like we have another electrician working on the line more like the post of the, uh, of the power line over here in the demolition area. We did uh, pull everything out and kind of redid it. I was kind of tired of the setup and the road wasn't really clear and so we just moved some stuff around. Uh, that uh, site right there stayed there but uh, everything else basically moved around and then the lines continue. Uh, one of the problems we faced when uh, making these was when, we, when it crossed or when it had to turn and so right here we just got a T-section and then it continues along here past the police station and then we have a big T here where it goes to the fire station and then it continues along that way and I'll uh, kind of have some rock uh, a rock base just to help support it and then some of these lines throughout the city you'll see have these little com compactors we just thought those added a little extra detail and uh, we do have our modified uh, fire station right there and uh, some vehicles outside as well as the police station and uh, its vehicles on either side and to the left we do have our arctic which is getting smaller every day it looks it seems like but we still enjoy it and uh, we may have added since the last update just a little uh, more ice or snow around the arctic to kind of enclose it okay here is uh, just a nice shot i thought i'd share with you guys of the power lines going all the way down um, and we do still have that bus stop by the hospital and uh, let's move on to the mall. At the mall, nothing really has changed. I don't think uh, we moved any buildings around, but just to give you a quick overview of what it does look like, we do have some skateboarders right here, and we do have a power line that connects to the mall. Looks like it goes to the uh, pizza shop, but it just goes across into the forest, which we have added some foliage to and uh, right now this is kind of temporary we just wanted to try it out 
these rock pieces. Uh, for now, they will be there, but in, in the future, we will uh, probably change that up. And our parking lot is still there with all those 2x2 two two tiles. And then the power lines do go through the forest and kind of down that way and then uh, down into the city again. And uh, you'll notice the forest does have some more foliage pieces. We got some off Bricklink and uh, we did want to make it a little more thick. And so it looks pretty good right now. And um, another problem we faced when placing these around the city was what base it would be. It wasn't a problem if it was on a road, but it was a problem just standing low. So we just kind of built the foliage around it. As in this case, it could go on the street. And then it crosses again here onto the residential area. And right now we have a bunch of these crossroads, which we don't know what to do with. But those are just temporary for now, and we'll see what we'll do with those in the future. Uh, we will be adding more houses to this. If you think it looks kind of empty, uh, we do too. Uh, eventually, it'll be, we want to make it really packed with houses for our citizens. And then still have our forest, fire, forest uh, police station right there. And then this is the last pole in the forest, and it just goes to this house right here. Okay, I am inside the hole in the middle of the city, and uh, just to show you where those power lines come out of the forest and uh, back into the city, right there it crosses there, got a compactor, and then uh, this was a uh, difficulty because we couldn't put a, a support piece right here or else it would be in the middle of a road, so we just attached them. It looks fine for now, we might have to change it in the future. But for now, that's how it is, and then it continues until the last one right there, where it connects to the, the port. Here's another angle of the park, which we are pretty proud of. We just got a kind of display right here, and then uh, some people walking around. Okay, we are over here by the beach, and uh, nothing much changed. We did have a new lifeguard tower right there. There's another angle of that lifeguard to tower, and uh, that's pretty new. We probably won't be doing a mock video on it, but there it is, all set up. And then we still have our dock that comes out, and our new custom fishing boat, which we did a mock video on, which you might want to check out, and our super secret police boat right there. And, uh, of course, we still have our abandoned prison island right here, with the robber on the side, and uh, our abandoned piers with our sharks swarming a surfer. Okay, that does conclude uh, today's uh, walkthrough or tour, and, uh, of course, the main project being the, the power lines. Uh, very proud of that, and the, uh, the little building we have right here. Tell me what you guys think about that down in the comments, but uh, for now I'm going to let the Ferris wheel and the uh, other attractions run and uh, just leave you guys with some footage of the city. Thank you.